Oh, uh, waiter. Yes, sir? I'll have some sliced chicken, some potato salad, and a bottle of cold Pabst Blue Ribbon. Yes, sir. Finest beer served anywhere. From Hollywood, Pabst Blue Ribbon, finest beer served anywhere, proudly presents... Screen Director's Playhouse, production Yellow Sky, director William Wellman, star Gregory Peck... The Hollywood screen directors present a story written in the western sands. The popular motion picture Yellow Sky, starring Gregory Peck and introduced by the director of the film, Mr. William Weldon. Our guest screen director tonight has created more than individual motion pictures. He has created entertainment for a generation, bringing scores of hours of adventure and drama to the screen as the director of such memorable pictures as Wings, A Star is Born, The Story of G.I. Joe, The Oxbow Incident, and tonight's adventure, Yellow Sky. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. William Wellman. A century ago, the frontiers of the West sounded their siren call to men who were strong and tough and ambitious. And sometimes they were lawless, with a swaggering contempt for justice. Today, the frontier still sounds its call to adventure in the tales of its time and people. We heard that call when we filmed tonight's story. And now here it is for the first time on the air, Yellow Sky, starring Gregory Peck in his original role of Stretch. In the flat pan of the desert, the ghost town of Yellow Sky hugs the seared brown dust sinking into its own barren loneliness to escape the sun. In the deserted quiet, nothing lives. Nothing stirs. Until... Grandpa! Grandpa! There's men coming! Five men coming across the desert! Stretch, I... I can't... I can't go on. Keep going. Bull runs right. What's the use? There's nothing but desert. No water for two days. The horse is useless. Keep going. There's an end of this sand somewhere. You find it for us, Stretch. You got us out here. Hold on. Stop. Now listen to me. Dude, lengthy. Bull run. Walrus. Nobody forced you to come. Could have stayed on the other side of this desert... Let the army troops hang you for bank robbers. Well, maybe it would have been better than this. Then maybe you should have stayed, Lengthy. You're the boss, Stretch. You're the leader. This was your idea. That's right, dude. Now, come on. Stretch. Up there on the rise. Look behind you. Uh, uh, there's nothing but sand. I saw her, all right. A woman w- with a rifle. Uh, top that rise. <laughs> Bull Run's going crazy. Well, he ain't all that crazy, not yet. I'm having a look up there. Look at Lengthy. What in his lips and nothing to wet him with. Just thinking about that woman. Lengthy's a ladies' man, Walrus. Me, I'm a gambler. And being a gambler, I'll just bet that Stretch gets first call on anything we come across. Money, water, or woman. Ain't that right, Lengthy? Oh, he ain't so tough. Someday I'm gonna... Go. Oh, no, you won't, Lengthy. Stretch is smart, and you're not. You won't do anything. Yeah? What about you, dude? That's different. I'm smart. Maybe smarter. Look, Stretch is waving at us. Come on. There's a town. 
Picked a good one, Stretch. A dead one, a ghost town. Water. There ain't no water. Shut up. There's a sign. Yellow sky. Fastest growing town in the territory. It's a fitting place to die, isn't it? Nobody's gonna die. Well, keep going. We'll... Stretch. There she is, the girl. What do you want? What are you doing here? I'll put up your gun. We don't mean no harm. Where'd you come from? Across the sink. We need water. Bad. What are you running away from? Oh, we want water, ma'am, not talk. Well, there's a spring here, between those two buildings. You hear that? There's water. Water? Come on, Bull Run. Get on your feet. You ain't gonna die now. Go on, drink. But stay away from my house. I told you to stay away from here. Well, I just wanted to pay you a friendly visit. Thank you and your grandpa for the grub. You would have taken it anyway. That's right. Yeah, we're used to taking what we want. Now, why do you always have to be toting that rifle around? I don't trust you. Well, you can trust me, but them others, they're talking about you, saying how pretty you are. Wouldn't trust them. Animals. You're all animals. Now, that lengthy, he's going to come prowling around... A girl like you, you're sort of a challenge to a fellow like him. You get out of here, I'm going to shoot you. I don't like women who act so high and mighty. I think I'd better take that boy no. away from me. Outlaw, you dirty outlaw! Hit me. Why, you young dirty. fellow, I wouldn't go stirring up no trouble with that girl. <laughs> well, that's quite a punch she's got there. Come in mighty handy when she gets married. <laughs> Oh, Mike's as tough as a pine knot. I ought to know I'm a grandpa. Mike, huh? Well, you taught her good. Yeah, me and the Apaches. Apaches? Oh, fine people, supposing you understand them. Any of them uh, around here? Oh, from time to time. Now you run along, young fella. If you and your friends need anything else before you hit the trail, you come and tell me. Yeah, yeah sure we will. Be seeing you. Grandpa, what you treating them so nice for? I know what I'm doing. Fight them and right away they get suspicious. You just leave this to me, Mike. Get the horses. We're pushing on. I said move. We're leaving. Dude's got other ideas. What kind of ideas? Gold. Here? You're crazy. It doesn't make sense. The old man and the girl living here alone. I've been looking around. Found half a dozen cradles and a big sluice box down there in the canyon. Yeah, that's abandoned junk just like everything else around here. There's a shack there, too. Patchy's been living in it. I could smell them. Strong as a fox's den. Uh, there's too much money laying around in banks for us to be worrying about any little dab these people got. Maybe it ain't so little. That's for me to decide. Dude's doing some deciding, too, Stretch. You figure you're the boss now, dude? Personally, I don't care who's boss. As long as we get that gold. And that's the way we all feel. All right. Supposing they got gold. I'm the one that's saying how we'll get it. Now you're talking. Uh, maybe I ought to have a little talk with a girl alone. Keep your hands off her, Lengthy. We don't want no trouble like that. Oh, that ain't no trouble. I'm warning you all of you. Leave the girl alone. Now let's see about that gold. <laughs> Don't suppose there's no use telling you fellas we ain't got no gold. Well, somehow we wouldn't believe you, Grandpa. Thieves. I should have shot you when you came. Soon I guess you'd be twisting my arm. Well, I don't want that. I might as well tell you. You're a smart man, Grandpa. Yellow Sky was a silver town. Silver petered out. Mike and me, we figured there might be gold. Moved in when the others left. And we struck it all right. Where is it? 
Gold's a mighty dangerous thing when you want it just for greed. We was going to reopen the town with it. Oh, we ain't so greedy. We'll make a deal, supposing there's enough for all of us. Now, what kind of a deal was you figuring on? 50-50. We'll split. Well, that sounds fair enough, seeing as how things are. How much? How much is there? Counting to just about 50,000, maybe. 50,000? Grandpa, don't tell him no more. Where is it? Cast in the mouth of that old silver mine on the hill. When we seen you coming, we knocked out a few of the timbers. It's buried now. You'll have to dig for it. Like I said, Grandpa, you're real smart. You made a right good deal. Evening, ma'am. I'm telling you, stay away from me. Oh, now, is that any way to talk to a man who's been digging hard for gold all day? Well, lots of girls would be glad to have Link to come calling. Leave me alone. I'm going in the house. Not yet, you ain't. You're staying with me for a while. Let go of me! <laughs> you just ain't used to men. Link me! Huh? Leave her go! You don't own me, Stretch. I got a right I to come calling. leave her go. Ah, she ain't worth nothing anyways. I told you no one was to bother the girl. And keep your hands away from that gun. I wasn't. I know you wasn't. Now get out of here. All right, Stretch. This time. You all right? I, I guess so. Thanks. Oh, wait a minute. Where are you going? Inside with Grandpa. He's worried sick. About what? You're running off with all the gold and leaving us nothing? I gave him my word, didn't I? I made a deal. The word of an outlaw? Look, I come from good people. Maybe I ain't no angel. Seems like I've always been chasing or being chased. Now, that's the only way I know. Brought up on the frontier, my ma was killed by Indians, my old man shot down in a gunfight. They'd be real proud of you, wouldn't they? Well, all I know is they taught me to stick by my word, and I'm sticking to our deal. I swear that on my ma's memory. Well, maybe you're telling the truth. Or uh, before you go in. No. Now, you're just like the other one. Let me go. Now you can go. If you want. I... Oh. Say. You're kind of enjoying it. I shouldn't have let you touch me. I shouldn't have... Hello, Stretch. Dude. What are you doing here? Just looking. That's going to a lot of trouble, isn't it? All that swearing and promising just to get one female. Uh, she believes me, she's crazier than I figured. Come on. We got a lot more digging to do tomorrow. Listening to Screen Directors Playhouse production of Yellow Sky, starring Gregory Peck with Gloria Blondell, and introduced by the director of the film, Mr. William Wellman. You are in Chicago. The elevated trains are roaring overhead. You, collar soggy and shirt sticking to your back, step out onto the boiling pavement. Underfoot, the hot tar bends like rubber. Whew, what a scorcher. And no relief in sight. Wait a minute. What's that little blue sign in the window? Oh, brother. Pabst Blue Ribbon. Finest beer served anywhere. Yes, during these hot July days, you're just one of millions of men all over America to whom that Pabst Blue Ribbon sign means welcome relief. For Pabst Blue Ribbon does something more than quench your thirst. It gives you taste, blue ribbon taste, the kind of taste you can't get anywhere else in the world except in that Pabst Blue Ribbon bottle. And fortunately, you can get that blue ribbon bottle all over the world. Yes, you hear it everywhere, in Chicago, in Cheyenne, in Charlestown, in Chattanooga. Pabst Blue Ribbon, 
finest beer served anywhere. Your taste will tell you why. Now, back to our screen director's production of Yellow Sky, starring Gregory Peck. Come on. Them shovels ain't for leaning. Yeah. Now, the sun don't help none. Don't know as the diggings... Well, we get this going, Wallace. We won't have to work no more. Oh, wait. I almost got the mouth of the mine clear. Uh, maybe they're lying to us. Maybe there ain't no gold here. They ain't lying. We made a deal. <laughs> That's a laugh. Us giving them a 50-50 split. Where's dude? That's what I'd like to know. Us working our guts out. Uh, he ain't no hand at working. He's nosing around the town somewhere. If I... if we got this boulder pried out, the rest of the, the dirt ought to fall away. Yeah. Come on. Brace your shovels under it. Yeah. All right. All right. Now. Oh. Yeah. See! Yeah. She's open now. Uh, come on. Let's get that gold. Here it is. We got it. Sacks of it. Stretch. Sacks of gold. Come out of there. Come out of the mine. Look at it shine. I said come out of there. What's the matter with you? You think you wasn't interested. Look. Gold. Look what's coming. Oh, it's just a sandstorm. Uh-uh. No wind blowing. Listen. Them's horses. Holy Moses. Apaches. That's what it looks like. They're heading for town. Well, I guess the old man ain't as loony as we figured. Ah, that sneaking girl. Her and the old buzzard said the Apaches was friends of theirs. There must be about 40 or 50 of them. Where you reckon dude's at? He's probably hiding out in town. I aim to find out what's up. It's almost sundown. As soon as it's dark, I'm sneaking into town. What about us? Well, these rocks around the mouth of the cave make a good natural fort. Just don't go wandering around. Stretch must be right in the middle of them Apache devils by now. Look at their fires. Must be camped by the springs. What's that? Something's crawling over there. Don't shoot. It's me, dude. D- What's the idea of scaring us half to death? I've been down in yellow sky. Where's Stretch? In the town, seeing what he can find out. Oh, uh, is that what he told you? You simple fools. Can't you see he sold you out? Stretch wouldn't do a thing like that. Suppose I told you Stretch and the girl were putting their heads together last night. Talking. Planning. Him and the girl, huh? Yeah, Stretch wants that gold and he's not splitting in any more ways than he has to. I ain't worried about the gold so much as I'm worried about my hide. Then if you want to live, Walrus, you better move up on the ridge with me. You got you planted down here so those Apaches can move in and get you any time they want. How does dude know? How does he know what Stretch is doing? Stretch is down in the town, isn't he? Figure it out for yourselves. Now, fellas, let's get... Stretch! You've got a surprise visitor. Quite a powwow going on out there. Apaches, they're our friends. All right, turn them loose on us. Some of your great friends are going to get killed, too. You'd think we'd turn the Apaches loose on you? On our own people? You sent for them, didn't you? The truth is, we didn't know them Indians were within 50 miles of here. Now, what are they doing in Yellow Sky? Well, it seems they've been having some sort of trouble back on the reservation and was out to kill. I told them if they'd go back peaceable, I'd talk to the Indian agent myself, try to get the troubles took care of. Oh, well, what about us? I told them you was working for me. You can't understand that, can you? Why did he tell him that? Because my grandfather wants to keep a lot of people from being killed. Even people like you. Oh. Well, is it... Is it all right if I wait here until daylight? 
Yes, you can wait. They'll be gone by morning. Then you can go back and steal our gold. But I told you last night... I'm sorry about last night. I'm ashamed of myself. What the hell is doing up here in the ridge? I told you to wait at the mine. We know, but dude here... I'm still giving the orders, not dude. We'll talk about that later. What about the Indians? They're gone. The old man told them to move out. For good? For good. Then I think we'd better load up and start moving. First, I want to get one thing straight. Our deal with the old man. Well, what about it? The old man played square. Sent those Apaches back to the reservation. If he hadn't... We all be laying around now making bones. So? So whether you like it or not, we're going to give them their share, like we promised. Look, Stretch, we've been friends. Why can't we talk it over? Like this. You got him, dude. He's rolling down the hill. No, he ain't got him. Just winged him. He's ducked behind that rock. Well, he can't stay there forever. We'll get him when he runs for cover. <laughs> That'll keep him down while we flank him. Get down! That ain't Stretch's gun. That's the girl. Stretch! Come on down, I'll keep you covered. That little rattlesnake. When this is over, I'm going to take care of her all by myself. He's getting away. Go head for the house. Then why don't we just load up and get out? Yeah? And spend the rest of our days waiting for Stretch to stick a gun in our backs? Lengthy's right. When we leave Yellow Sky, we won't be worrying about meeting up with Stretch again. <laughs> See anything from the back window, Mike? Nothing. Nothing on this side. Well, it's been dark for nearly two hours. They'll be coming soon. Yeah, it's mighty quiet out there. Maybe they left. A well, dude might want to leave. He's just gold crazy. But lengthy, he's got other things on his mind. Mike? Yeah, Mike. <laughs> Here they are. Stretch! Stretch, are you listening? That's dude. We don't want you gunning for us the rest of our lives, Stretch. And we know if we have a shootout, some of us are going to get hurt. So we'll do what you wanted. We'll split with the girl and the old man. Just hand me that gray blanket over there. Here it is. Now, this, this rolls up about the size of a man. Keep back, I'm going to open the door. Stretch, don't. Keep your eye peeled and shoot for their gun flashes. Now, that suits me, dude. Hold your fire, I'm coming out. Well, that sure is one shot-up blanket. Hey, dude! Yeah? I've got Stretch at the door. He was a setting target. Good work, Lengthy. Where are you? I can't see you. Over here. Oh, no! What's happening out there? Well, it sounds like dude took a shot at Lengthy. Hey, lady. It's me, Walrus. What do you want? i got Bull Run with me. He's bleeding something awful. Tell him to come in. Bring him in. And come slowly. Get him here. Stretch. We thought Lengthy got you. Not this time. Put him down. Here. Stretch up. Don't hurt, Stretch. I'm sorry, kid. Walrus, what's happening out yeah, there? Yeah, they think they killed you. Then dude, he took a shot at Lengthy. Guess he figured Lengthy might want too much of the gold, but he only winged him. Where are they now? Dude lit out for the barn where we left the gold. And Lengthy? Following him. Stretch, where are you going? Out to the barn. I don't want Lengthy and Dude killing each other. That's a pleasure I'm saving for myself. Oh, Stretch, you can't. There's two of them. They'll... Leave them go, Mike. Right now, you've got a patient to tend to. Ma'am. <coughs> Stretch, he... he wanted to split with you. Dude wanted it all. We listened to Dude. You shouldn't talk. Don't make no difference now. He said he came from good folks. Proud of it. I guess he ain't really bad. Not like... like the others. He ain't listening, ma'am. Stretch! 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 Oh, if I didn't know better, I... I'd say you was kind of concerned. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. They ain't. Here. Take this. Is, 
It's your gun. I'm through with it, Mike. Through? Well, what good's a gun in yellow sky? There ain't nothing left to shoot. You... You're gonna stay? Well, if you and Grandpa let me... Grandpa! Grandpa, stretch! He's all right. We're coming in. Yeah, Grandpa. Hot up the coffee. We're coming in. You have just heard the last act of Yellow Sky. In a moment, our star, Gregory Peck, and our screen director, William Wellman, will return to the microphone. Hollywood is supposed to be a town of tinsel and glamour. But all that chichi you read about is nothing but a publicity front. Actually, most of the movie stars are home-loving folks just like you and me, who get their greatest pleasures from simple things. Sitting in the backyard with friends and neighbors cooking hamburgers on a charcoal grill, serving cold bottles of Pabst Blue Ribbon beer. Everything in perfect taste, Blue Ribbon taste. And it's that Blue Ribbon taste that makes this internationally famous beer so popular here in Hollywood and all over America. Yes, you hear it everywhere, in Boston's famous seafood restaurants, in Minnesota's beautiful lakeside resorts, in Ohio's friendly roadside inns. Pabst Blue Ribbon. Finest beer served anywhere. Your taste will tell you why. Next week on Screen Director's Playhouse, Pabst Blue Ribbon Beer presents for the first time on the air, Casba, starring Tony Martin and Marta Torin. And now, here again is the star of tonight's play, Gregory Peck. Thanks very much. But the actual star of the screen director's playhouse is the director himself. So here's the man who was really responsible for putting Yellow Sky on the screen, director Bill Wellman. Thanks, Greg. It's always a thrill for a director to hear his picture turned into radio fare. But tonight's broadcast of Yellow Sky was more than an exciting experience. It brought back some scorching memories. I mean those blazing days on location under a sun that was fine for movies, but awfully uncomfortable for movie makers. So if for a few minutes my temperature zoomed, it's because of a grand performance by Gregory Peck and an excellent cast. Thank you, and good night. And good night to you, William Wellman and Gregory Peck. Tonight, before you go to bed, tie a blue ribbon around your finger. An imaginary blue ribbon, of course. Just to remind you that tomorrow is the beginning of another glorious weekend. Two whole days to relax. Don't forget to buy a good supply of Pabst Blue Ribbon beer. Finest beer served anywhere. Your taste will tell you why. Yellow Sky was presented through the courtesy of 20th Century Fox, shortly releasing Slattery's Hurricane, starring Linda Darnell and Richard Widmark, and You're My Everything, starring Ann Baxter and Dan Daly. Screen director William Wellman's latest picture is the MGM production Battleground. Included in tonight's cast were Gloria Blondell as Mike, with Paul Fries, Jack Edwards, Wally Mayer, Ken Christie, Sam Edwards, and Dan Riss. Yellow Sky, based on the novel by W.R. Burnett, was adapted for radio by Richard Allen Simmons, and original music was composed and conducted by Henry Russell. Screen Director's Playhouse was produced by Howard Wiley with dramatic direction by Bill Karn. Portions of the program were transcribed. Listen again next week when Pabst Blue Ribbon Beer presents... Screen Director's Playhouse, production, Casbah, director, John Barry, stars, Tony Martin, Marta Torren. Screen Director's Playhouse is brought to you by the Pabst Brewing Company of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Peoria, Illinois, and Newark, New Jersey and sent your way with the best wishes of the Pabst Blue Ribbon dealers from coast to coast. James Wallington speaking. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.